Hello, my friends, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today, I want to spend some time with you and share one of the most liberating tools that I've learned in my journey so far. For many years, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with what I was doing. I wasn't happy with my job. I wasn't happy with the amount of money I made. I wasn't happy with my love life. And I never seemed to really find you know, who I was and what I want. And, and, and every time that I, I knew that there was a voice speaking within me telling me, you should be going in this direction, it, it almost like I never felt like the power or the enthusiasm to just go for it and just trust and, 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 and manifest. It was almost like I wanted to be like on a safe spot. At many times, um, I was looking at people, especially like, later on in life that were making comments like wow i wish i would have known that it was this simple and i really thought i was headed in that direction i thought i was going to be the one that looked back and say wow life was so simple and literally i just worked for 40 years doing this job that i didn't like making the money that i didn't want to make uh, and never manifested the relationship that i want and and you know for me that was almost like a terrifying feeling i did not want it to make it out to that point in life and have to look back and see that I totally missed the mark. I finally found that the reason that most of us at some point do not have enough momentum to create the life that we want is because we're constantly comparing ourselves. Comparison is so toxic. Comparison is a silent demon that lives within all of us. It lives within me, it lives within you, and it lives within even the people that want to say, oh, I don't compare myself. We all do. We start life comparing ourselves. We're trained to seek outside approval. So since the moment that we're little, we're getting instruction from the outside and we're being told this is good, this is bad. You did great, you did wrong. Sit down, pick up, go to school, then you have grades, then you have friends, then there's little groups, and so on and so forth. And then this person gets picked and you don't. And then you get picked and that person don't. So it's almost like a world of relatives. And that's never gonna change because that's the society we live in. So my goal here today is free you from that so you can go on and live your journey. And the only way that you're going to be able to do that is signing out from this game. So, no, it's not like you have to go live off the grid with no power on a tent and say, okay, I'm not part of society. We're part of this society. But we just need to suffer a little less about it. And the, the, the best way that I can describe where the comparison lays within us as a society is I'll give you this example so let's talk about something simple materialistic and with no emotional uh, pattern in it so think of money I'm sure there's many people right now that you can think of that are richer than you yeah so where do you see them they're like right here right and then you can probably think of tons of people that are in a more disadvantaged position that you are. And then where do you put them? Put them right here. So just by that outlook of life, you can see that in that statement, you feel that you're in a better position than someone else and that you're in a less position than someone else. Now let that spill all over. Your marriage, if you're a relationship, I'm sure you think of somebody that has a great marriage or a great relationship, and you can think of, of somebody that doesn't have a great relationship. And again, you put yourself in different places. Body image, you go to the gym, I go to the gym, and I look around and I see, wow, this guy is looking amazing, and it's all chisel, you know, and you get like a little, like almost like humble way, and you wanna like try harder, you know, it makes you feel a little less. And then, you know, you see somebody that maybe is in a more disadvantaged position and now like, it's almost like the ego silently gets fed because, you know, you, you did better than this person. Sign out from that game. You will never feel less than someone 
if you don't actually feel better than someone else at some point. And that is the toxic game because I'll tell you this, none of that is real. It's your mind. Your mind has told you that this is real and that is not real. We don't define people. We're all writing a book. We're all writing a story. And my story is unique. And your story is unique. And there is no point of ever holding it against each other. Whether you have a better career or more money and a better car and, and this person doesn't and, and whether you have a great relationship and this person has been single for 10 decades, that doesn't make one journey better than the other. I am fighting my battles. You are fighting your battles. Some things in my life are going to come really easy and other things I'm going to struggle a little more to manifest. And same goes for you. And guess what? I hope I can help you. And I hope you can help me. And I wish the best for you. And I hope you wish the best for me. And that's how we begin to sign out from this game. When we finally step back and we finally understand that there is enough opportunity, there is enough time, there is enough people, there is enough everything for you to win at your life and for me to win at my life. So what's the point? of seeing where we fall in the equation. What's the point of looking down at someone when you know it feels so awful when you have to look up? What's the point? We're all equal. We're all equal. We're all fighting our battle. We're all doing the best we can. I have never met anybody that is struggling that is not trying to the best of their ability to the best of their knowledge, to the best of their tools. And I'm sure you're doing the same, and I am doing the same. So finally, take all that energy back, all those hours, all those days, all this time a day that we're constantly living like this, like this, looking and looking and, and, and staring all over and seeing, oh my God, they're doing this, oh, I have competition, who cares? Take all of that back and where do you put it? Inside. And there's your energy. There's your enthusiasm. Now you have enough finally for you. Enthusiasm, happiness, excitement, joy, belief, faith. That's where all that energy is. It's wasted all day scrolling and looking at better people and making fun and judgment because that and, and I'm not judging you for doing that because we don't know any better and I have done it too many times that's what we've been taught we were taught to look outside so that's why we don't trust anything that we hear and when you finally shift and realize that you never had to do any of that you were giving one person to take care of and that is you. And if you have dependence, trust me when I say this, when you become the better version of you, everybody around you is going to benefit. Listen to yourself. Stop looking. I'll give you tips. I have social media on a timer on my phone. I only get 20 minutes a day. I am fine leaving my phone in another room. I really put headphones on when I go work out and I try to just look down most of the time. Why? Because I want my energy to be focused on me and so on and so forth. And you have to, my grandmother used to say this years ago, and I love it. You have to wake up in the morning and she will say, kiss your arm, kiss your arm. And that's beautiful because that's what you should do. Be your number one fan. Look at yourself. Stop comparing. All that energy that you woke up with today, bring it all to you. Bring it all to yourself. Bring it all to your projects. Bring it all to your mission, to listening to your purpose. It might not happen overnight. It might take you days to figure out. It might take you weeks to get the confidence. But don't fall out from the journey. 
Take care of yourself. Be proud of yourself. And don't be so unfair. It is really unfair to you and to your soul and to your journey and to everything that you have overcome and to everything that you have become to compare yourself to someone else that had it completely different. You know what you've been through and you know what it took to get here and you better be damn proud of it. I'm excited to see what you will become. I wish you all the best. I hope you have a blessed day. And I hope that today you look at the most amazing person in your life all day long. And that is you. Have an amazing day.